Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna and today we're going to be doing a cardiac rehabilitation exercise. So there's different levels and I'm going to be showing you level two and level three. You need to check with your exercise physiologist, your physio, or your cardiac specialist nurse which level is the right level for you. So I've got here a nice sturdy chair. two tins from my cupboard so I don't need to go out and get professional weights. I have got professional weights if I do fancy using those. So you need to make sure you've done a really good warm up. So you've warmed up for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes and that is vital for your baroreceptors and your medication to have that effect on your body. If you need to do a warm up click the link below and I'll show you a good warm up. So let's get cracking with the actual exercise machine. This is a 20 minute circuit. Circuit two is in the main picture. Circuit three is done in the small corner. Follow the correct circuit for you. For circuit one, please hit the link below. Don't forget to do the warm up. This is vital. Hit the link below to join me with a warm up. So we're gonna start with bicep curls. And bicep curls are just very simply bringing the elbows close into the body and curling back down. So off, off we go. We have got a whole 60 seconds on the clock for this one. So we're doing 60 seconds of the bicep curl. Now if you do feel a bit unsteady, that's where the chair comes in. So you can hold onto the back of the chair and go for five bicep curls. Two. and change it on to the other side. Lovely, so you're now using your right hand holding on with the left hand as you go along there. If you're happy with that, just get cracking with both biceps, you might want to alternate them, but you're always keeping your heels pumping. If you find pumping the heels is quite challenging, just go for a march on the spot. Really important you do that, because you'll contract your calf muscles and get the blood flowing back up to the level of the heart. Now when you hit the next dig, we're into the cardiovascular move. Here we go. And this is a tap forward. So it's an easy to tap forward and back. Tap forward and back. Forward and back. Lovely. Again, if you feel a bit unstable, use your chair for support. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can come in for a lunge. So you're going to take a big slide forward, bend the back knee and back up again. Lunge forward and up. Get it forward and up. Excellent. Keep going. Remember your breathing should be nice and relaxed. Starting to feel like you're exercising. So a little bit of breathlessness is fine. As long as you can talk all the way through your exercise machine today. Good. So we've got 15 seconds left. Excellent. Then we're coming up to 60 stands. Lovely. Five seconds. And last one, well done. Come round and take a seat. We my weight down here. So you're going to sit down onto your chair, shuffle your feet to the front end of the chair, wash your hands over, lean forward, push up to the heels, and then take a seat. Now, if you're happy, keep going with this movement here. If this is a little bit tough for you, just use your hands to gently guide you up. Have a moment. And then back down again. Good, so come up. One, two, three, four, five, and back down again. Good, now you choose a level that suits your body best. Always listen to yourself. Good, I'm going to go back to this one. This is a toughy one, this one, because we've got two minutes of six stands. So this is our second station. We're going to be doing 10 stations today. Each station comprises of two minutes. Lovely. Now you might have done one minute of that and think, God, that was really tough. Just take a breather, pump your heels. When you feel ready, off you go again. Oh, I just feel that lovely sunshine coming on my back there. And as you're exercising at home, I just wanted to get that really good energy. We're in Cornwall, we're in Fiat at the moment. And it's just beautiful, look at that. It's really, really lovely and sunny today. So whatever is going on in the world at the moment, make 
make sure you're keeping yourself well, keeping yourself well and fit. Good. Right. Want to bring it back up into sit to stand to this level, please do. Remember to slow down if it's a bit too much for you. The next exercise is the lateral raise coming up. Here we go. So we're going to stand up, holding onto our weights. Find a space, pumping the heels, taking the arms out to about shoulder height and back down again. Do a nice steady pace there. Leave these soft supporting elbows as you bring those arms up to shoulder height. Lovely. Keeping those feet moving. That's our number one rule in cardiac rehab. You've got to keep those feet pumping. So if you're not able to get to a local exercise group due to the virus, pop this on. We're usually asking that you're doing at least a minimum of two to three circuits a week. Yeah, and by doing this today, you're definitely doing your one circuit. Replay it again in the week. Super, you've got five seconds left. Two and one. Well done. Pop the weights down and now you're back into a cardiovascular move. So we're going to go for a side tap out good alternating as you're going. Now if you're feeling a little bit unsteady and do need the chair, come round to the chair holding on and you can do your side taps down to the side like this. Great stuff. Now if you want to make the movement a little bit more cardiovascular for you, add in a single arm. Good. This is great for the mobility in the shoulder joints as well. Good. If you want to bring the pace up a little bit more and you feel fine with your balance, we're going to add in two arms. Good. Now if two feels a bit tough, just take it to one. Excellent. Ten seconds to go. Keep it going. Feel that lovely sunshine beaming in. Good. Two and one. Well done. So the next one we're into is a step up. If you have got a step at home, use the bottom step of your stairs. Do not do this halfway up or, or in the midsection of your stairs. Make sure it's the bottom step. Now I found a nice sturdy rock on the beach here, so I'm going to do this here. If you haven't got any steps in your house and you live in a flat, what you need to be doing is this alternative. This is known as a box step. So I'm going to show you here. Keep stepping off the step if you have got one. I'm taking one foot forward, one foot forward, in and in. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to change the leg and four. Good. Three, two, one. Change the leg. Here we go. And four. You've got two minutes of this, folks. Change the leg. Here we go. And four. Second minute. Well done. Keep it going. Ah. You might want to bring it up a little bit more. And that depends on you as an individual how you're feeling, how you're breathing. Change. Good. Now, if you want to add in some more arms, make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring them down here and change. Now in cardiac rehab, we do have a rule that you don't take your arms over your head during the warm-up. But now you're nice and warm, you can start to challenge yourself a little bit. Good, on the other side, and change. Nearly there. Then we're into our chest. And change, just take it down, just with the legs. Excellent, grab your weights again. We're going to do a pectoral squeeze here. So we're going to open out, elbows at 90 degrees, squeeze the elbows in, and then back open again. So this is working your chest muscles. You really need to activate and squeeze the elbows together, and open. Squeeze the elbows in, and open. Fantastic. Keep those heels pumping. You gotta keep them pumping. Well done. Now if you're feeling this is getting a little bit tough, take a seat, keep it going, sit into the front third of the chair and pop the heels. 
Well done. Keep going. Nice and steady. Nearly there, two seconds, and then we're lunging back. Well done, pop the weights down, slowly come up. Round to the back of the chair, use it for support if you need to. Tap back. This is option one, tapping back. So you might want to add in an arm as you're going. Good. You can do opposite hand to leg. Fantastic, if not, just keep up on the same side. Good. And this depends on your your joints as well, your range of movements and your hips. If you have dodgy hips and you think, oh my goodness, I can't get my leg back that far, just bring it in small. Take a small step. If you're feeling, yeah, I can do this, I've got a little bit more range today. Work it out. Let's get going. Well done, keep it going. Super. Now our next exercise after this one is going to be a walk or a march. If you're at home, you've got a nice long corridor. What I would like you to do now for two minutes is march up and down the corridor. Good. Now, if you're at level three where you're working just purely on cardiovascular throughout the whole circuit, you might want to add in one jog down the length of the hallway, two walks, one jog, two walks. So you might be at that level where you can jog all the way through. Good, keep those marching legs going. Again, you can hold onto the chair if you feel a bit wobbly. Make sure you take a step back so your knees are not hitting the back of the chair. Chest open, upright and tall. Start to tuck your muscles in. Breathe in that fresh air. I'm breathing the sea air in for you guys. Give it 10 seconds, keep it going. You've got one more minute left of walking or heading in for a jog. Well done, keep it going. Remember to stay at the chair and march on the spot if you need it for support or if you feel breathless, just bring your pace down. nearly to your next station just a few more walks left to go remember to grab a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty you're already a little bit dehydrated so get drinking keep breathing nice and steady just think how amazing you're going to feel when you've completed this circuit today Well done, grab your weight. As you've got the weight here, we're into an upright row and back down again. Lovely. Pumping the heels as you're going beside you. Fantastic. So the elbows come out to the sides. Working your biceps, your deltoids on the top of your shoulders. Now maybe you feel a little bit wobbly, put one can down, hold on to the side of the chair, do five on this side, and then swap it round to the side on the other. Good. I'm going to swap it round. Well done. Bicycle at home, you can walk on your bike for two minutes. If not, you're 
of a double side tap. Here we go. So we're going to go for one step, two step, and one step and two step. Brilliant. Let's move this chair back a little bit. Ready? Keep it going. Now, if your arms are feeling a bit tough, just do it with the legs. Good. Maybe you want to add in a single arm. Second minute to go. Well done, keep it going. Maybe two arms again. And you might want to pick it up with a little bounce in between. Yeah. Do you know what? After 20 minutes of exercise, you really get those endorphins released. And it starts to make you feel really good, really happy. And you know that you've been strengthening your heart, strengthening your muscles today. Getting that blood Change arms onto the other side. Two minutes on this one. Three 
down together now for 10 minutes and we had better do this at home because the tide is coming in. What I would like you to do is walk around your house gradually decreasing your pace over a good five minutes and then you'll be ready to perform all the stretches with me. So I'm going to come and take a seat onto the chair Shuffle your body forward, so your bottom's on the front third, and a nice easy heel pump. Good. You've worked really well today. You should be very proud of yourselves, guys. Excellent. Keep that going. I'm going to go to stand. And we're into a toe tap behind, nice and easy. Now, if you're sat down, you just need to take your toe forward, tap it forward and back. Good. And back in for a march on the spot or a heel pump if you're sat down. Good, in for a heel dig, so digging the heel into the floor. Good, I'm going to give you a side view here. Shoulders nice and low. And marching out. Into a toe tap to the side, so it's a tap out and centre, out and centre. Good, and march it back out. Fantastic. Now I've got a bit, a bit of a brain teaser for you. So you can place your hands onto your shoulders, stretch your hands forward, hands onto your shoulders, onto your hips. Ready? And shoulders forward, shoulders hips, shoulders forward, shoulders hips, shoulders forward, shoulders hips, shoulders forward, shoulders hips. Easy as that. Very good. Okay, nice high stance and a soft knee as you're just tapping out there. Good. Lovely. And then we're just going to come in for a stop, both feet planted onto the floor. Turn one toe out so it's about 45 degrees out, slightly bending over onto your, that knee. Make sure the toe is going over to the knee there, feeling a lovely stretch on the inner thigh. If you can't feel it that much, take a bigger stride. If it feels too deep, too intense, bring the leg back in. Super, keep holding that stretch. As you're holding that stretch, I'm going to show you what we're doing. Same with this, the other side, but we're just taking it out with one leg out onto the chair. Good. And then back in, in for a march on the spot. Lovely, let's try that on the other side. So take the other toe out and then straighten the other leg, bend onto that leg. Feel a nice stretch on the inner thigh. Good, steady breathing, hold it there. I'm going to show you standing. Toe goes out, feeling that stretch on the inner thigh there. And back in for a march on the spot. Make the marches a lot lighter, a lot easier, you're cooling down. We want that heart rate to slow down now, bring it down nice and gradually. So the cool down is vital because that's going to prevent any arrhythmias or palpitations, so it's really important to do a good cool down. So facing your chair, if you can come up for a stand and we're just going to take one leg and back and place the heel into the floor. Bend that front knee so you can feel a stretch down into your calf muscle. Relax the shoulders, deep breath in, breathing out. Really enjoy that stretch, feel like they're running all the way through the body. Try and get your shoulder, your hip 
from me and your ankle in a lovely long line. Good. And then bring that leg back up into a heel pump. Excellent. On to the other side. So take that leg behind, bend the front knee, push the back heel flat into the floor and hold that stretch. If you're sat down, you need to be into the front third of the chair, straighten one leg out in front of you, nice floppy foot, up nice and tall and slightly come forward from the waist so you can feel that stretch just onto the back of the thigh there. Well done, bring that leg in, in for a heel pump, nice and easy. Fantastic. Okay, so standing up, you're still marching on the spot. Bring the marches a little bit easier, lighter down. Now we've got the big challenge. Love this challenge. It's amazing. When you work with people who say, oh, I can't do this, I really can't do this. Six weeks, eight weeks down the line, they're practicing it twice a week, three times a week, and all of a sudden they get their mobility back. It's fantastic. So we're going to stop our feet. We're going to bend one knee behind us, pop the toe into the floor, lift the heel, and slightly tilt the pelvis forward so you can feel a stretch onto the top of the hip flexor there. Now if you want to test yourself, you're going to see if you can hold onto your trousers and get your knees soft and together so you can feel a stretch onto your quadricep there. Good, if that feels fine, you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, See if you can hold on to your ankle. Breathe. Good stuff. Steady breathing. And pop the foot down. It's really easy to forget to breathe when you're actually doing the stretching. So make sure you are breathing throughout. You're stretching in your exercise. So pumping your heels again. And let's have a go on the other side. So take one toe behind. Into the floor. Lift the heel. Soft knees. Tilt the pelvis forward, feel a lovely stretch just onto your hip flexor. Good. Relax the shoulders, breath in and out. Now hold on to your trousers, see if you can feel quite comfortable there. If it's not feeling comfortable, just put your foot down. Go back into this position, there should be no pain through stretching or exercising. Test yourself a bit more. Hold on to the ankle. Soft supporting knee. Great stuff. Lovely and a nice easy heel pump. Really slowing the system down. Good stuff. Now we're going to go for an upper back stretch. So we're going to hug a nice big beach ball, rounding the upper back, tuck the head down, feel a stretch in between the shoulder blades. Now you can do this one sat down as well. So if you keep going with your heel pumping, you're just looking down, pumping your heels, tucking the head down, feel that lovely stretch. Now open the arms out. If you're sat down, you're going to come into a bit like a Superman pose. Relax the shoulders, slightly come forward, just feel a chest stretch and opening out through my pectoral muscles. If you're standing up, we're going to bring your hands behind you and you can either place them into the lower arch of the back, squeeze the elbows in together or gently take the arms away. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Good. And turn to face the front and stop. Brilliant. So we're going to take one arm across the body and gently pull that arm towards you feeling a nice stretch into the top of the shoulder there. Okay, wiggle your toes. Good, and release. Then back in for a heel pump. Nice and easy. And on to the other side. So you could be doing this seated as well. And take the arm across the body, shoulder nice and low. If you're doing it seated, into that same position, up nice and tall. Just bringing that arm straight across. Great, then back in for a hill pump. Well done, you have made it for a whole session of cardiac rehab today. You should give yourself a round of applause. That is fantastic work. So it's goodbye for the moment from me here at Cornwall. Have a beautiful day.
don't forget you need to be doing your circuits two to three times a week and getting in a mile walk a day. Ciao, ciao!